Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will learn how to create and uh, connect to a SQL Server instance and um, how to perform a basic SQL operations by using uh, Google Cloud Console. In this module, we will learn how to create a SQL Server instance in a Google Cloud and uh, how to configure and how do we choose the region and how do we make the backup and how do we enable the network options like you know so that uh, it, our own network or uh, we can connect to the SQL server using our local computer and we will learn how to connect to the SQL server using uh, SSMS and also uh, I will show you guys how to just create a database and uh, tables and uh, load some data into tables and we will query like you know we will run a few queries against the table. So I will start with like you know logging logging into this Google Cloud and uh, try to create a, a, a SQL Server instance and then configure that instance. Uh, let me log into the Google Cloud now. I logged into Google Cloud. Uh, now uh, I need to go to the, the Cloud SQL. So here, if you click on, on your left, uh, we can see all the options that um, API is building and uh, look for the SQL and click on the SQL. So now I'm in the Cloud SQL page. So here uh, it shows all the list of instances available. So I have an instance here, uh, the MySQL uh, instance, but uh, what we are doing in this module, we will be creating a SQL Server instance. So in my earlier uh, sessions that I showed you guys how to create a MySQL instance and how to connect to MySQL Workbench and how to configure MySQL and the networking and how do we choose the, the regions, uh, how do we create tables using MySQL Workbench. But in this module, we will learn how to do that um, how to perform the same stuff, but it is a SQL server. Now I will go to create instance and click on create instance. So here we see all the, the list of database engines available in a cloud SQL. So we can see MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL server. So now I will select here SQL server. The page is loading now. Now we need to enter all the, the informations that need here to create a SQL Server instance. So now I will create an instance ID as instance a SQL Server. Instance SQL Server. Now we need to uh, generate a password. We need to create a password so that we can use this password, password to connect to the SQL Server using our SSMS. Let me create a password so that I can use this password later. And if you are creating a new password and uh, please remember, please save that password. You must need that password to connect to the SQL server using any any other tool like, you know, but in this module we'll be using SSMS. So now let's look at the, the versions available. So we have uh, the versions available. Uh, we can see it SQL servers 2017 Express Web Standard Enterprise. And also we have the latest version 2019 Express Web and Standard. So for this module, I will select the 2019 Standard. Now I need to um, choose the configuration. So here we have two uh, configurations available, one for production and uh, other one for development. Uh, since this is just a like you know testing purpose or a simple demo, and I will just select a development uh, configuration. So here we can look at the configuration detail, and uh, we can compare both production and development. So the production is a little expensive, and also it is highly available, and we can see that uh, the memory also 26 uh, GB compared to development, and also. Uh, like, you know, CPU production have four, but the development, uh, it has only two. But we can change these uh, configurations uh, anytime. But uh, let's uh, just select now and uh, hide these details. Now let's go to the region and zonal availability. So here we can see all the zones that are available, single zone or multiple zone. And let me quickly tell you what is the difference between single zone and uh, 
multiple zone. So in a multiple zones, if we deploy our instance in multiple zones, it's automatic failover to another zone within our selected region. So like, you know, as during the disaster, like, you know, in the, like, you know, if we have some uh, power outage or any, like, you know, natural disaster happens so that like, you know, it will automatically uh, move to the another zone and a single zone in case of outage. So no failover, but not, it is not recommended for production, but this is just like, you know, test a demo. So we are not deploying this into multiple zones. So that's the difference. So we're selecting single zone and the region, we can select anything. So for now, I'll just keep the default or you can change if you want to deploy that to South Carolina, or uh, Columbus, whatever, whichever you think is better for you. And here I choose uh, the US Central Iowa. And now I will customize uh, the instance now. So let's look at the mission type. So earlier we choose development and it's a two CPUs. But if you want, like, you know, we can uh, choose the uh, the other option. Like, you know, we can increase like, you know, 26 GB. But I'll just keep it like, you know, uh, simple. And the storage, uh, this is just a test purpose. I'll keep it to 20 GB. And let's look at the connections and uh, enable public IP because I need to connect from my local computer. That's why I'm enabling public IP. But if you are implementing like, you know, any organization or anywhere and please follow that uh, Google Cloud uh, um, recommendations. So, and also if you are enabling public IP, make sure like, you know, you are adding your network in this module. So we need to add our uh, computer IP. So here, just uh, say my IP and uh, yes, if your IP, I'm not sure whatever you, you're using IP, your uh, own IP, computer IP, just like, you know, get that, uh, uh, you will get your uh, IP address and enter here because that will allow you to connect to this, uh, uh, connect to this SQL our instance in Google Cloud. So uh, this is just an example uh, uh, how to add it, like, you know, but uh, I'm not, uh, um, like, you know, so I will add my IP address. So this is how you can add it. And let's go to authentication. So uh, join an active directory domain is unoptional, but I will leave it. And uh, let me select this data production options, automate backups, enable deletion protection. So as I mentioned earlier, if you enable this, then no one able to delete the SQL Server instance. Um, but we can disable this option so that like, you know, when we done with this uh, exercise, I can delete this instance. But if you are implementing some, uh, any organizations or anywhere, but please make sure that like, you know, um, whatever, whatever is good for uh, your exercise, or your implementation, select that option. So, and then maintenance, I will keep everything default and uh, flags, everything looks good, labels are not needed. So let me create, before I create this instance, let's quickly review what we selected here, the region US Central and the DB version 2019, and we have two CPUs, 3.75 uh, GB memory and 20 GB uh, storage. And here we see that backup is enabled, availability single zone and connections, uh, public IP is enabled. And we need to add our local IP to access the SQL Server instance in Google Cloud. Okay, let me create this instance. While instance, is being created, uh, I'll give you a few more details, like you know how we can look at the metrics. So here, if you look at the chart, we have a lot of metric options available, CPU utilization, total memory usage, active connections, a disk write, uh, read, write operations, storage usage. But let's say if you want to like, you know, check the, if you want to check the CPU utilization for last um, six hours, just select six hours. And here you can see that like, you know, the CPU utilization for your SQL server or one day, but you can also enter the date range so that you can see the CPU utilization. And also if you want to see the active connections, uh, we can um, uh, make changes into this uh, time window and select it. And uh, let's look at the connections. And right now this is enabled and just add your IP to connect uh, to this SQL server that is important. And once this uh, instance is ready, then I will log into, I will log into the SQL server instance using SSMS. 
Okay, so before I go to SNMS, uh, let me go to databases and how we can create a database. We can create a database using SSMS or you can also create a database here. So right now the instance is not available, so I'm not able to perform that create database option. So let me go to overview again. So here we see the options edit, import, export, uh, restart, stop, delete. So all these options available once the, the instance is uh, deployed, then we can see all these. Uh, what this restart if you want to restart your instance you can um, uh, use this option to restart your instant uh, instance and also if you want to stop this instance so that like you know you don't get charged you can use the option stop uh, this is to delete the instance but very careful before you delete anything and the edit option let you to uh, make changes in your instance so it, it may take like you know a few more minutes so that uh, once it is ready then uh, we'll see all these options uh, in a blue color that means the instance is ready and uh, we can start connecting and uh, uh, perform our ETL operations now the instance is being created so we can see all the options enabled here we can see edit import export restart and all the details and again if we want to connect to this sql server we must use this uh, public ip address so that we can connect so i will log into the um, the sql server instance using ssms now i will just copy this uh, public ip address we need it to connect uh, to the SQL server using SSMS. So let me use, uh, let me go to SSMS here, go to connect option, select the database engine. So now I need to enter this uh, server name. And here the login, login username is just enter SQL server. And now remember the password that we created during the deployment uh, to connect to this uh, SQL server instance and use the same password. Now, let me initiate the connection. So now uh, I'm able to connect to this uh, SQL Server instance. And uh, let me just open a query window. And before I go to this uh, query, and uh, I mentioned that we can create database using either SSMS or using uh, Google Cloud Console. So let me show you guys how to create a database uh, using in a Google Cloud Console. And here I go to databases option and uh, click on create database. So now I want to call my database as test01. So I just create this database. So now the database is created. Uh, now let me go to SSMS and just refresh this here. Click on the refresh option. And now I can click on the databases and here I can see the database. Now I need to sell it. Uh, now I'll just create a database. So let me uh, let me select here. So here we can choose the master database or we can choose the database that we want. So I want to create all my tables in uh, my uh, in my database that I just created that is test01. So now let me create a table. I will just create a sample table. It's not a big table since this is just a uh, demo exercise. So I'm just creating a sample table. Or create table uh, cities the table name is and just two attributes city and country and execute this so allow uh, the data the the table is created now if you want to see if the table is created or not let me just refresh it and here we see that the the cities table is created on a dbo schema so now what i will do i will just uh, insert a few records into this table just enter insert into the cities table and the attribute city country and the values San Francisco that uh, that is um, uh, located in USA. So just execute this. And now I will insert one more record. Let me just enter one more record that, uh, uh, that we are adding one more record into this cities table. So now we inserted two records in, into this cities table. So now we will just run a simple select query to see if the data exists in this table or not.
Since now we see the data in this table, so there are two records that we just inserted and we see those two records in this table. Let me just run uh, another uh, simple query, just like, you know, order by a city. So you can perform any of this operation. So this is how uh, we can run this uh, SQL queries. This is how we can connect to the SQL Server instance using SSML. Let me quickly review, like, you know, what we discussed in this session. So if you have any questions about this exercise, like you know, creating SQL Server instance and a configuration or way to deploy or how do we enable network uh, to access the SQL Server instance, how to create databases, tables, loading data, or any questions about the ETL operations. Uh, please uh, do not hesitate and please post all your questions with the detailed error description and I will try to help you whenever uh, as soon as possible. So let me quickly go back and uh, review what we discussed uh, in this session. But before that, if you don't want the database, any of the database, you can just select the option, delete it, but I'm not I'm just showing you guys the, the option. And if you want to uh, delete an uh, instance and make sure you can go here, delete, and then so that you don't get charged. Uh, or if you're not using the SQL Server, you can just click on stop so that like, you know, the server is not in use so that you don't get a uh, bill from the, the Google. And um, so let me quickly review. So we deployed an instance. Uh, we selected option Cloud SQL and we selected database engine as a SQL server and we created SQL server and we deployed into single zone. We selected a development a configuration and we see that two CPUs and the storage that we are using and uh, we enabled backups enabled and also the auto storage increases enabled. And um, we use the SSMS to connect to this SQL Server. We use this public IP address to connect to SSM uh, to connect to this SQL Server using SSMS. And uh, in SSMS, we created a table and we inserted a few records into table and we query against the, the table and we see the results. And we see the records uh, in that table. If you have any questions, uh, as I mentioned earlier, please post all your questions about Google Cloud or uh, about uh, SQL Server. Uh, please post your questions in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Again, thanks. Thanks for watching this channel. Thank you.